Across a world we live, in cities and villages, all part of a greater whole, but we are not alone. They come in herds, hives and swarms, tribes, packs and pairs, living in nature, members of society. In every corner of the globe, anywhere warm, tropical, subtropical or temperate, reptiles exist. One of the earliest groups of animals on land, they were the forefathers of the dinosaurs, birds and mammals, coming in all shapes and sizes, including turtles, crocodilians, snakes, lizards, tuatara, amphisbanians, ranging from the largest, the Nile crocodile, weighing in at 1900 pounds, to the smallest, the dwarf gecko, at less than half an inch long. While many are solitary, others come together in great numbers and smaller groups. With all manners of social structures, crocodilians being among the most easily identifiable, a wide group of closely related carnivorous archosaurs, they evolved 200 million years ago as a distant relation to the dinosaur. They can be found throughout all tropical climates, even being found in subtropical United States and China. Primarily semi-aquatic, they can be found in lakes, rivers, swamps, and even the open ocean though most reside in lowland freshwater bodies, uh, brackish water or hypersaline lakes. Only a few, such as the saltwater crocodile, able to swim out to sea to colonize new areas. Their body uniquely adapted to their lifestyle, with short stocky legs and a powerful tail to minimize drag, the tail providing their primary propulsion underwater. Even able to lower the heart rate to consume less oxygen, some species being able to stay underwater for up to two whole hours. They can be divided into three groups. True crocodiles, recognizable for their V-shaped snouts and visible teeth when their mouth is closed. Found throughout Africa, Southeast Asia, Northern Australia and Mesoamerica. Alligators and caimans, distinguished by their U-shaped snout and less visible teeth found mainly in freshwaters of the Americas and China. And the gharial and the false gharial, identifiable by their very narrow snout, sharp, needle-like teeth and diet of primarily fish. As the shape of the crocodile's snout and their teeth is highly indicative of their diet, the broader, U-shaped snout and robust blunt teeth being specifically adapted to crush protective shells of prey such as turtles, shellfish and mollusks. While the V-shaped snout and sharper teeth being primarily suited for more general diet, including invertebrates, amphibians, fish, birds, mammals and even other reptiles. Many crocodilians, widely known for their massive bite force, some being the strongest in the animal kingdom, exerting pressure of nearly 4,000 pounds for some species, strong enough to crush bone. Most crocodilians hunting by remaining submerged, only their eyes and snout being above water level to decrease their chances of detection. Striking fast and suddenly, killing it either by drowning or by violently shaking it, inducing whiplash and even breaking the neck of their prey. Twisting in the water while biting down to tear off chunks which are then swallowed whole. Though all crocodiles have also been found to be highly opportunistic, eating carrion as well, sometimes by necessity, as their chosen prey may be too thick in hide to tear apart, instead waiting for the body to decompose and the water to come apart more easily. They are cold-blooded and rely on alternating between basking in the sunlight to keep their metabolism high, and wallowing in mud to keep cool when they risk overheating. Crocodilians are highly territorial, many being typically solitary, violently defending their area from other crocodiles. Though some, such as the Nile crocodile, may occasionally collaborate to take down larger prey, employing a variety of collaborative tactics to lure prey into ambushes. Alligators also frequently sharing masking sites, coming together in small groups of a dozen individuals. As a result, crocodilian communication is often extensive, 
ranging from an array of crude vocalizations such as grunts, roars, and bellows among adults, to squeaks and yelps of juveniles, as well as extensive body language, including head slapping, where the crocodilian raises its head above the water, snapping their jaws shut as they splash back down, used primarily for courtship purposes. Exclusively polygynous, males mating with several females, males often patrol large areas containing several prospective mates, with the notable exception of the American alligator, which can occasionally form monogamous pairs during mating season. Mating season typically occurring once a year during late spring for most species, initialized by elaborate courtship rituals, as with the American alligator. The males grouping together to form large bellowing choruses, submerging their bodies, emitting a deep resounding bellow, resonating through the surface of the water, sometimes leading to infighting between the males when outnumbering the females, biting and tearing at each other, sometimes until death. Once a female approaches, the male then rubs against her, circling around and swimming in a complex display. Mating then occurs in the water, the female submerging as the male rubs against her neck, mounting her. Their tails are lining so their cloaca can meet. Mating itself lasts up to 15 minutes, the pair continuously submerging and surfacing, repeated until conception occurs. The male then leaves to allow the female to construct a nest, either a hole in the ground or a small mound of foliage, sand or soil. The female then lays between 10 to 50 eggs, covering it in soil for incubation. The eggs then incubate for two to three months, the temperature determining the sex of the hatchlings. Unusual for reptiles, the female exhibits great care for her young, continuously monitoring the nest, remaining within the area until hatching. Communication will occur already within the eggs as the soon-to-be hatchlings tap their shells to synchronize their hatching. The female then returns to excavate the hatchlings, taking them into her mouth to lead them into the water, the young remaining close to their mother for between a few months to up to two years occasionally employing alloparenting, where some species gather in large nursery groups caring for each other's young. Mortality rates are significantly high among the hatchlings and even the eggs themselves. Nests often flooded if positioned too close to the water, overheated if dug too deep or left too exposed to the sunlight, or raided by predators such as monkeys, raccoons, bears, otters and lizards. Many predators additionally waiting nearby for the hatchlings to emerge. Maturity is reached when the crocodilian has grown to a competitive size rather than a particular age, thus depending largely on the availability of food. Once reaching adulthood, the mortality rate drops sharply as most crocodilians are apex predators, having few natural enemies apart from the great cats of South America. Lifespans ranging between 35 to 75 years, crocodilians continuously grow in their entire lives not aging in a traditional sense, typically only dying of disease or other crocodilians. Turtles are among the most recognizable reptiles in the world, known for being slow-moving, protected by their distinct shell. Found in most temperate and tropical areas throughout the world, they exist on every continent outside of Antarctica. They are the oldest living group of reptiles, having evolved over 200 million years ago, distantly related to crocodiles and dinosaurs. They are unlike any other group of reptiles in appearance, spread out over 14 families with 300 species. They range in size from the smallest, the speckled padloper tortoise, at barely 3 inches in length, to the largest, the leatherback sea turtle at 6.6 .6 feet. They can be either carnivorous or herbivorous, dictating the shape and function of their powerful jaw, which completely lack teeth, instead being a sharp bony beak that's a direct extension of their skull. They can be both semi-aquatic or terrestrial, dictating their shape and size accordingly. Though all turtles breathe air and lay their eggs on land, turtles can be divided into three groups. True turtles, including sea turtles and freshwater turtles, characterized by their smooth shell as well as their limbs being adapted for swimming, as they are semi-aquatic, spending their lives in the water. 
tortoises, being land turtles with rough skin and irregularly shaped own shell to make it harder for predators to grip onto it and bite it as they live exclusively on land and terrapins being small hard-shelled semi-aquatic turtles found in brackish water. Most turtles being freshwater turtles found in lakes and rivers, many having evolved webbed feet for padding in the water, as well as robust claws to pull themselves onto riverbanks to bask in the sunlight. Though a few have evolved fused digits forming true flippers, such as the seven species of sea turtles who rarely come on land while the group of 57 species of tortoises have instead evolved short stocky legs to support the weight of their massive shell on land. The shell having formed as an extension of their skeleton, their ribs flattened and fused to form a solid surface, the only exception being soft shell turtles and the leatherback sea turtle, whose shells are only partially bony, instead made up of thicker, oily, leather-like skin radiating from a single solid part at the center their shoulders and hip girdles remaining inside their ribcage, enabling their movement without distorting the shell. For protection, turtles can withdraw their heads under the shell, contracting their necks to the side, as with an array of South American and Australian turtles, or by contracting their necks under their spine, as with all other turtles. Most turtles are active during the day, as they are cold-blooded relying on the warmth of the sun to increase their metabolism to remain active. While in colder climates, turtles may go into hibernation over the winter, slowing down bodily activity to near halt, though they will still frequently wake up to drink water, their eyesight having full color vision enabling them to see both in muddy waters and on land, all turtles having a keenly developed sense of smell, having no filled arms under their chins to detect chemical signatures, such as the pheromones emitted by fertile females during the mating season. While their sense of hearing is limited, having no external eardrums, instead relying on vibrations in the air, Communication is thus limited mainly to the use of pheromones, body language, and touching rather than calls. Their skin and shell being highly sensitive to touch, with turtles leading mostly solitary lives, only coming together for mating season or migration. Particularly sea turtles, who can migrate huge distances in large groups known as bales, though their social interactions remains highly limited until mating season occurs once a year for most species typically around spring or early summer. Species found in tropical climates can mate year-round. And sea turtles only mating every two to four years. Mating consists of simple display and courtship rituals, initialized by the male having tracked a female based on her scent. Many freshwater turtles and terrapins having swimming displays, wherein the male swims around the female, touching her and fluttering around her to get her attention. Sea turtles similarly will court the female through swimming around, though most also group together, competing for the attention of a single female. Tortoises will bully the female into submission by ramming the female into position, while snapping turtles will sway their heads side to side. If the female reciprocates, she is agreeing. Mating begins with the male mounting the female, wrapping his tail underneath hers. The mating is brief and repeated most turtles being polyandrous, the females mating with several males, storing the sperm from many males in her oviducts until she builds a nest in her rookery, females returning to the same site every year. Some species of sea turtles even forming large migratory groups of even thousands of individuals, known as aribadas. The turtle will then dig out a egg chamber, either located on a beach or riverbank, as with freshwater turtles, terrapins and sea turtles, or on hillsides, as with tortoises. The turtle then lays between a single egg to several hundred, depending on the species and the size of the individual turtle. Incubation takes between three to four months, the young turtle inside being folded over, gradually straightening out until they are pressed up against the shell, breaking through. Tortoise hatchlings scattering upon birth, immediately looking for food, while freshwater turtles and sea turtles instead head straight for the nearest body of water, spending most of the first year close to shore before venturing out closer to adulthood. As the mortality rate for hatchlings is extremely high, 99% not surviving their first year. 
most being victims of predation attacked by lizards, snakes, even birds and small mammals. Turtles then typically take long to mature, anywhere between two years as with most freshwater turtles, to up to 50 years as with the green sea turtle. Turtles are also typically long-lived, anywhere between 20 to 50 years, as they do not experience cellular deterioration or aging in a traditional sense. Their internal organs continually renewing until death by disease or predation. Some, like the Aldabra giant tortoise, even having been reported to reach an age of 255 years prior to death. Snakes. They exist in every corner of the world, on every continent except Antarctica, found in all kinds of environments, from arid deserts and grasslands, to jungles and forests, even in the ocean itself. With over 3,000 species spread out over more than 20 families, it is also one of the most diverse groups of reptiles, having evolved over 100 million years ago from lizards. They range in size from the tiny thread snake, less than 10 centimeters long, to the reticulated python at nearly 8 meters long. The skin of a snake, covered entirely by dry scales of varying size and texture, rough or smooth, that also enables easy locomotion while on land, pushing and pulling by slithering or sidewinding. As they have no visible limbs, they rely on a complex series of muscle contractions underneath their skin to move, molting periodically to replace worn out or damaged scales. A notable exception being sea snakes who swim by whipping the length of the body in segments side to side, living most of their lives in the water, only coming on land to lay eggs. Their internal organs are ranged from to back to accommodate their slim down form, with most snakes only having a single lung. All snakes are carnivorous, their prey being primarily insects and rodents, but also larger mammals and reptiles, even other snakes, or are also able to swallow their prey whole. Their lower jaw divided into two parts, separating in the middle, with multiple joints all along the snake's skull, able to bend it far out of shape to accommodate large prey. Feeding only sporadically, the snake will take hours, sometimes days or weeks, to digest a single large prey, resting for extended periods of time until it's ready to hunt again. They hunt primarily by their sense of smell, using a forked tongue, constantly moving to collect airborne particles, bringing them to an organ at the roof of their mouth for analysis, simultaneously smelling and tasting their surroundings. Some species, such as pythons and pit vipers, having infrared sensitive receptors in their snout, enabling them to sense heat signatures given off by warm-blooded animals while their eyesight and hearing vary greatly, some species being entirely blind, while others have a keen sense of vision, attracted particularly to movement, despite their eye itself being covered by a transparent scale, their hearing consisting of detecting airborne vibrations rather than any traditional sense of hearing, most easily being able to sense nearby animals, predator or prey alike. Most snakes are either venomous or constricting, injecting venom into their prey via hollow fangs that induces paralysis to enable the snake to feed without being damaged internally. While constricting snakes will coil around their prey, crushing their bones and cutting off oxygen to the brain, feeding once their prey has died from internal injuries or suffocation. Some smaller species do neither, however, instead swallowing smaller prey whole while they're still alive relying on their powerful internal muscle, corrosive stomach acid and suffocation to kill their prey before digesting. Cold-blooded, snakes rely on the outside temperature to remain active, warm climates enabling the snake to remain active throughout nearly the entire day. While in colder climates, the snake may only be active for a few hours each day, going into hibernation over the winter months, their metabolism slowing to a mere halt. 
often found in deep hollows underneath tree trunks and in caves. Mostly solitary, snakes employ little in terms of communication, usually consisting of simple threat displays like hissing, or, as with cobras, fanning their rib cage to make them appear larger, or, as with the rattlesnakes, using their rattle to emit a warning sound before striking. Instead, snakes rely mainly on body language for courtship rituals. With most species, the male snake is in constant search for a mate, mating taking place year-round for snakes throughout their life cycle, preceded by either ritualized combat when males compete for a single female, either hissing at each other or by topping, winding around each other, each trying to push the other snake down in a display of dominance or in a simple courtship ritual where the male and female entwine in a kind of dance, rubbing against each other. Snakes being either polygynous, where a male mates with multiple females, or polyandrous, with a female mating with several males. Snakes occasionally found in large numbers during mating, coiling and winding around each other. Mating occurs through internal fertilization, the snake employing a pair of forked hemipenes that are normally inverted within its body to enter the female's cloaca, the male then leaving in search of another mate or food. Most snakes lay eggs, often either left in the open or lightly covered by foliage, abandoning the eggs from that point on. The young snakes emerging from the soft-shelled eggs once they've consumed the yolk by pushing against the shell with a temporary egg tooth, while pythons and the king cobra guard the eggs until hatching, pythons even warming the eggs by wrapping themselves around them, vibrating to generate heat. A few, such as the boa constrictor, being unique among reptiles in that they give live births either with the egg held inside the female's oviduct until hatching, or by genuine placental birth, after which the female takes no part in raising her young. The young snakes then disperse immediately in search of food, the vast majority of snakes not surviving their first year, falling prey to other predators such as birds and other snakes. The age in which a snake reaches maturity varies greatly between species and is generally linked to size rather than age, with particularly males having to reach a superior size to be able to effectively compete for a female. The lifespan likewise varies greatly from a few years for smaller snakes up to 40 or 50 years for larger species. Snakes, along with turtles and crocodilians, both as predators and prey, form an essential links in their ecology, from large groups to smaller ones, to loners and pairs. They can be found in all manners of environments, each of them being an essential component to the circle of life surrounding them, all members of an animal society.